Let's do something we've never done on this channel. Today we are going to create a scene into Adobe Dimension. And so we are going to create this scene for the company called Seaboard. We're going to bring some surfboard, we're going to add the logo, we're going to make a beautiful scene, and I'm going to show you how. All right, before we get started, I encourage you to like this video and to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future design videos. So you probably wonder what to do before even opening Adobe Dimension, and you are right, because there's some stuff, there's some places you need to go before opening the app. Since I have been using Adobe Dimension for a while, I know what kind of 3D models they have, what kind of material they also have, substance material and all. So every time that I have a project that I want to do, I always, always go on Adobe Stock. I download free stocks from Adobe Stock and use them on Adobe Dimension. So this is what we are going to do first. In that case, we are going to showcase the logo Seaboard Co, Seaboard Company, on a surfboard. So on Adobe Stock, I will need to find a model surfboard 3D object to add to my scene on Adobe Dimension. So I'm going to look for this. Then I will also need an environment background. So we want a beach and some surfboards as well. And I am also going to look for a design to add to my surfboard. So on any object, you can add materials, lights, design, colors, all of it that we're going to look at today and so we are going to look for a cool design to add to our surfboard. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I have already found the three assets earlier, so I am going to show you how you can find them too. Also, by the way, those are free. I only always download free assets from Adobe Stocks and that works each time. Let's go. Here we are in Adobe Stock. You're gonna have the first page and as you can see, there is a search bar and mine is already set up to free. But if you go, you can do all images, video, 3D, template, premium, editorial, whatever. I always do free because all I want to use needs to be free. All right, so where did I find my surfboard? So if you are following along with me, you want to get the same object, but you do not have to. All right, so I think I tapped surf board model because a model it this is what you're going to use into adobe dimensions so surf board model and into the categories you're going to go into 3d and look at these here are two models i downloaded this one you just have to mindset redownload but if you want that one for example you just have to license for free and you get this model so this is where i found my surfboard now let's look our background so i think i did surf beach for the background and obviously i want to go to image we still into free and so here are some like images that you can use for free for your projects and i think i downloaded find it this one see it says license because i already have it, it says free also so if you click on it it's going to bring you to this window and you can re-download it or download it if you don't have it. For the design on our surfboard that we just downloaded, we're going to add some waves. So I do waves, all is great, images, and I downloaded this one. I think that was a really cool cartoonish vibe for a surfboard. So I downloaded this one and now that we have all of our assets, we can go into Adobe Dimension. All right, so here is how I organize myself. On the right side of my screen, I have my files, seaboard.co, this is the company. I have a logo in black and I have a logo with the full colors, which is a gradient. And then I have everything I need for the scene. So we have the, surf the surfboard model and the images, which include the background and the illustration, right? So we have everything uh, at end and now we can get started so i opened adobe dimension right so the first thing you're going to do is create new 
you don't need to have any size or any file just to create new that's all you need to do it's going to open your environment your scene so i'm not gonna go into detail again if you're really looking for a huge dimension tutorial um well adobe itself does a really cool ones if you like me to make a video about it just let me know in a comment down below but this is pretty self-explanatory and this is not very much hard to understand so this is our scene there's nothing in it yet this is just you know the floor we'll call it the floor that's the ground and so on our scene we're going to add our surfboard model so we uh, downloaded it we want to take the object so right here that's my object surfboard I am going to drag it into Adobe Dimension and just drop it there we do not need this surfboard to be so big so I'm going to scale it down and as you can see my uh, mouse was already on the scale that little square I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to hold my shift button so it stays the proportion are staying all together and I'm going to bring this down I don't need it to, to be that big right then I want my surfboard to be up obviously this is underground this is not what we want we want this guy to be above ground so here is our surfboard right now this is orange this is definitely not what we want it's not completely on the ground yet so this is what we're gonna do Whoop, here you go now it's touching the ground floor so what we're gonna do is this guy you wonder so on the side you can see that you have a uh, surfboard surfboard tail surfboard tail so, so there are three tails all right so this is you can change the design of each single one of those tails plus the uh, surfboard itself so this is what we're gonna do we're going to start by adding some material so on your side right here you have basic shapes, models, Adobe Steno material, and some substance material. So maybe this one, light oak, there you go. So um, this is woody, woodish. I can also decide to double click on my surfboard. The base color is this brownish. Let me look for maybe something else. I think I added plastic last time. That's your plastic effect. So I guess I kind of like it wood, but maybe I can find a one one. Maybe we can make it a little bit less glossy. All right. Do we want our surfboard this color? I believe so. We're going to we're going to leave it like this. And so what we can do is only change the tail. So let's select our surfboard and go to tail one and for our tail we are going to use something else maybe some plastic and this color is actually looking great for me so this is what i'm going to keep on going like that i'm going to select tail three do the same now to our material let's add our design so right here into my folder i have images and i have design so i selected my surfboard so this one and i'm going to add on it my design Ooh. but what i want to do is not decal but feel right so this is how it's looking like right now let's see it covered our wood so what we want to do is bring in the opacity down a little so we still have this the design and yet the wood effect so that's great. That matches really well with our tail. What we can do is bring the roughness down so it brings some glossy part. All right, if we bring the roughness a little bit more up, this is no more glossy. Do we want it glossy? Do we do not want it glossy? It's up to you. Right, so now right here, this is where I want to add the logo of the company, right? You can also bring this up, bring this down, like do something different, all right? I liked how it was before, so. Now let's add our logo. So we do the same process, you just bring it. So let's try with, this is the black and this is the colorful one. I kind of want to try with the colors. So I'm going to drop it right here. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so here we're going to scale it down, holding shift. That looks kind of nice, you all. We made the design of our surfboard, right? So that's awesome. Now we're going to add the background. So I'm going to go into the environment. And as you can see right now, it says background. I'm going to go into four scene images. And here in my, is my Adobe 
a stock photo. So I'm gonna click here, image, and I'm just going to drop the image right there. And look at this, it looks so good. So what we're gonna do is just place. So now we're going to take care of the lightning. It's very important because um, we want the same light everywhere. So I'm gonna go into environment again, and I'm gonna do match image. So it says instantly align and light your scene using information from the background image. So this is what we're gonna do, match image. Yeah, so it matched what's going on on the scene. I'm just going to replace and I'm going to start playing with the sand. So I want I want my shadow to go that way too, okay? Boom. I matches the light from the background, but you can also then play with some environment light over here. So for example, I could have done the studio woodwind or the studio wonky. Even this one would have looked very good. So if I click on it and drop it there, it's going to add new light to it. As you can see, it's like a little bit more warm and I can play with this environment light as much as I want, I can rotate it. What else did I forget to show you? Oh yes, we can see the render. So right here, render preview, toggle this render preview window. The render preview gives you a presentation of what your light shadow and material will look like in your final render. So what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna render it and we're going to see how it's going to look. So be patient and we'll be back for the results. All right guys, let's look at the results. So first off, the first render that we've done, I noticed that but I wasn't completely happy with it. Uh, I think the light uh, were not working. Uh, this is why we always have to render preview before rendering it because it actually shows you how it's going to render at the end. So here is the first one we've made. All right, as you can see, we didn't, do not see very much. It's too much light on our seaboard on that side. So I was not happy with it. I also noticed that since this one is way closer, it should be bigger than those. So I just quick made some changes and we ended up looking at that guy which is way better look at this how fun oh uh, yeah uh, i hope you guys really like that you learned a lot today you all if you did learn a lot today and if you're very happy about this video and had fun watching me design some stuff on adobe dimension please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really helped me out and that way you won't miss any of my future design videos don't leave without liking this video thank you so so much for watching until the end i will see you next wednesday until next time take care bye